You are listening to All I Want for Christmas is Drill, a Brook B Productions audio film. This is a work of fiction. Any similarities to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is purely coincidental. Good morning. I wanted to see how I can get tickets to the holiday gala tonight. Good morning, Miss Davenport. The tickets for the gala are for the hotel guests only and are free of charge. It includes a complimentary alcoholic beverage. There will be finger food, an open bar, and music. The gala is at 6 p.m. and is held in our ballroom, which is on the main level past the indoor pool. So, how many tickets would you like? Just two. One for me and one for Troy Stevens. Here you are. Have fun. Thanks. Hey, you. I got us two tickets for the gala tonight. Let's talk about your text that I woke up to this morning. Drew came to your room last night, so I guess he was able to get away from his girlfriend. I mean, mother. Shut up. He didn't stay long, but it was the best hour of my life. First of all, I didn't need to hear that. But second of all, why didn't he stay in your room until morning? He legit treated you like a booty call. I didn't even feel him get out of bed. He put me right to sleep. Okay, this is where I changed the subject. Let's talk about the gala. I was just coming to the hotel with you for moral support. I didn't bring anything fancy to wear. You have a ton of suits at home. Just run and grab something out of your closet. I'm not driving all the way home. Well, rent something. You want me to spend hundreds of dollars to rent a tux for one night? I'll let you use the business card. Okay, now we're talking. Just don't go crazy. Drew and Ebony are stepping out the elevator. Ebony is looking down at her phone and doesn't see Troy and Stacy talking in the lobby. Stacy and Troy have their backs turned, but Drew sees them and panics. Drew immediately pulls Ebony back on the elevator. A confused Ebony is wondering what is going on as Drew furiously hits the button to close the doors. The elevator doors finally close. So is Drew coming tonight? I didn't get a chance to ask him. We didn't do much talking last night. Ugh. Bye, Stacy. <laughs> Happy shopping. Why did you rush us back on the elevator like that? I told you they could have charged our breakfast to the suite. Ebony, can you just wait here while I grab my wallet from the room? I thought you put your wallet in your pocket. Yeah, I thought I did too, but I must have left it on the bed or something. And who's calling you? I'll be right out, okay? Hey, babe. Are you going to the holiday gala tonight? Uh, I I, I don't know. Are you? Yep, I just got tickets for me and Troy. Why are you talking so quiet? My mom is still asleep, and I don't want to wake her. She went to bed late last night. Oh, okay. Um, Well, don't you know if you're going tonight? I mean, I brought a tux to wear just in case, but honestly, I'm not into those kind of things. But it sounds like fun, and it's a nice way to end her self-care weekend. I highly doubt it's going to be any fun. Just a bunch of boring people in tuxes and gowns getting drunk to some whack Christmas music. Okay, Scrooge. What? (laughs) What if I wanted you to go? And what if I didn't want you to go? I think we can find better use of our time. Mm, It's tempting, but I already told Troy that I got his tickets, so he's literally out shopping for something to wear. You sure you don't want to skip it? Troy's a big boy. He can go by himself. (laughs) The only reason he's going is because I'm going. Hey, uh, I gotta go, but I'll text you later, okay? Just come to my room before the gala starts. I want you to be the first one to see me my dress. Um, sure. Yeah. What time does it start? Six o'clock. Okay. I'll see you before six. Okay. Bye. What took you so long? My bad. Uh, I couldn't find it at first. Mm Mm-hmm. You're acting real funny. 
how am I acting funny? I I told you I left it in the room, and now you're talking about me acting funny. It doesn't yeah, make any sense. Exa- mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You always got some problem with something. I, I tell you. I always got something to say. Okay. You acting mm-hmm. real funny, but all right. You you ain't giving me the definition of funny yet. Hey, girl. How's it going? It's going okay, considering. I know, huh? Who knew the weekend he was planning was for the other woman in his life? Right? His mother. Have you seen him at all today? No, but we talked for a little bit earlier. I asked him if he was going to the gala, but he wasn't sure. (sighs) That sucks. It does. I hope he changes his mind. Me too. So, Troy doesn't believe he's here with his mother. Why not? He said it's strange. It's not strange. I know. I think it's sweet. I do, too. A man that treats his mother like a queen is a keeper. You are one lucky girl. Thanks. I just want to fast forward to after the gala. Girl, the way he put it on me last night mm -mm -mm, is all I can say. Single, sexy, and good in bed? I'm jealous. So what are you wearing to the gala? I bought this red satin corset dress that looks so good on me. I can't wait for him to see me in it. Ooh, sexy. I wonder what Troy's going to (laughs) wear. Oh, goodness. You have to admit that man is handsome. Mm, He's all right. I did meet this cutie at the supermarket in the produce section yesterday. Did you know the way a man handles his produce is a sign of how he'll treat you in bed? (laughs) Girl, stop. I'm serious. I read it in the Cosmopolitan. Well, I told you to stop by my room before the gala, so I gotta get off this phone and finish getting ready. Okay. Take lots of pics. I will. Bye. Bye. Later that night. Stacy. You look stunning. Red is definitely your color. Thank you. And you look uh, comfy. Why are you still in your robe? You're not going. I'm not sure. My mom isn't acting like she wants to go, and I wouldn't feel right going without her. But can we please talk about how beautiful you look? If the gala wasn't about to start, I'd be all over you. (laughs) You can still be all over me. Don't tempt me. Well, it looks like you're all dressed and ready to go. So I'm going to head back to my room. If you change your mind and decide to come to the gala, am I going to meet your mom? I want to tell her what a wonderful son she has. Yeah, uh, of course, babe. Um, but, but listen, let me get out of here, because if I don't, you're not going to make it to that gala. <laughs> Wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I know you didn't waste your time getting beautiful just to stay in the room. Hopefully I'll see you soon. We'll see. I better get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. What happened to you wearing a tux? I saw this burgundy crushed velvet suit and was like, hell yes. You gotta admit, I look kind of (laughs) fly. I can't wait to see how much it cost us. It didn't hurt us too bad. You just had to get a red suit. You do know we look like we're going to the prom, right? Uh, it's burgundy. Burgundy, red, it's all from the same family. Wow, look at this ballroom. It's beautiful. I must admit, this is pretty dope. Come on. Let's get our complimentary drink. You're not wasting any time. Stacy and Troy approach the open bar and get the ready-made complimentary drinks from the bartender. 
They both stand back and people watch as they sip their drinks. Drew said I can meet his mother if they end up coming tonight. Well, when you do, let me know, because I got to see this. <laughs> Will you stop? If he's really here with his mother, I'll pay for this suit with my own money. Why would he say I could meet his mother if she wasn't here? To throw you off. You are really reaching. You know that, right? If she's really here, don't you think she'll find it weird that you literally hijacked their mother-son weekend? That's not a good first impression. I'm sure I'll be able to smooth things over. <laughs> you better hope. Oh, I meant to tell you this earlier, but guess who hit me up last night? Don't tell me. That crazy actress chick? <laughs> yup. Did you text her back? Nope. I'm good. As a matter of fact, I see someone who might be worthy of the Stevens' last name. I see Drew, so I'll catch you later. Hey, Drew! Acey, hey. You must be Drew's mother. Let me just say that I think it is so sweet what he's doing for you. And sorry to just show up this weekend. I know it looks kind of crazy. <laughs> Stacy. Um, Drew was telling me how he wanted you to have a weekend of relaxation and pampering. So did you enjoy everything? Thank you for getting Drew to come to the gala. I told him it would be the perfect way to end your self-care weekend. And who are you? I'm Stacy. Drew and I used to date in college. We recently reconnected and I'm glad we did. These last few weeks have been absolutely amazing. It honestly feels like old times. I cannot tell you how happy I've been. And I love the relationship he has with you. Um, Stacy, this is... Oh, he's such a wonderful son, as I'm sure you know, because you raised him and you did a great job, by the way. I was just telling my best friend, Troy, that if I have a son one day, I hope he treats me the same exact way. Wow. Did she really just walk away? It was nice meeting you, Mrs. Rogers. Oh, my God. I thought that was your mother. <laughs> no. That's what I was trying to tell you. I literally just met her. I'm so embarrassed. Don't be. So where is your mother? She's, uh, she's in the bathroom. I started talking to Miss Rogers while I waited. Hey, uh, what do you think about leaving the gala early? You can go back to your room, take off that sexy dress, and wait for me to get there. True. Hey, what's up? You and your uh, mother been having a good time? Of course. And hey, that crushed velvet suit is fire. Thanks, man. <laughs> I told him it looks like we're going to the prom. Hey, uh, can I ask you a question? What? Am I ugly? Stacy, uh, about that question I asked you. Uh, hold on, Drew. No, you're not ugly. Why would you ask that? Well, I was trying to holler at this female, but she literally gave me the hand. I didn't think females did that anymore. Aw, poor Troy. I'm trying to figure out why she wasn't feeling me. Like, did she not see how handsome I look in this suit? You heard Drew? It's fire! Maybe she has a boyfriend. There she goes, right there. I didn't see her face, but the one walking towards the bathroom? Are you sure that's her? Yeah. That's her. Hold my drink. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Please don't tell me you're going to corner her in the bathroom. I'll be right back. Stacy, wait. Don't worry. If I see your mother, I won't embarrass myself like I did a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago? what I miss? <laughs> I'll let Drew explain. Stacy. Bye. Ebony, what the hell are you doing here? Well, well, well. If it isn't Stacy Davenport. And if it isn't the bitch that stole my man in college. I'm going to let that slide because I am looking too good to get into some bathroom brawl. Answer my question. What are you doing here? This gala is for hotel guests only. Why wouldn't you think I'm a guest? Well, who are you here with? Are you sure you want to know the answer to that? I asked, didn't I? Follow me. Where are we going? Come on. Wait, 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 wait. 
Drew, Drew, what the hell what is, the she, hell doing is here? she doing here? Drew! Whoa. I thought you said you were here with your mother. His mother? He's here with me! That's weird, because he's here with me. I don't see how that's possible, because we spend every holiday at Serenity Lux. Ladies, ladies, I... I can explain. The only thing you need to explain is why Stacy is at this hotel! Have you two been talking? We've been doing more than talking. She telling the truth? Of course I'm telling the truth. I'm talking to Drew. Stacy, hey, is everything all right over here? I heard yelling. You were right, Troy. Drew wasn't here with his mother. He's here with Ebony. What? Where is she? I am right here. But you're the rude girl who gave me the hand. Yeah, that sounds about right. You know what? I'm getting real sick of your mouth. And I'm sick of you popping up every time it has something to do with Drew. Ladies, the person you need to be mad at is Drew. I'm mad at this bitch. This feels like college all over again. Call me a bitch again and see what happens. I dare you to touch me. <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. You seem to be forgetting who's the cause of all this. Can't believe you played me. Stacy, I'm sorry. You're sorry? You've been stringing me along for weeks. We slept together, Drew. I was falling for you again, and now you want to say sorry? I... I was feeling like we had a second chance at love. I thought you were happy we reconnected, but all you were doing was lying to me? And for what? Was it just for the sex? No, of course not. Well, why would you do this to me? Why hurt me all over again? You know what? The answer doesn't even matter. I'm leaving. Ebony, uh, give me and Stacy a second, please. Whatever. Stacy, wait. Just let me explain. What, Drew? I was... I was telling the truth when I said I was glad that we reconnected. I was genuinely happy to see you at Starbucks that day. At first, I thought it, it was going to be an innocent dinner to catch up. But the more we started talking and texting, I found myself feeling the same feelings that I had for you in college. And I got caught up fast. Before I knew it, I was looking forward to our conversations and couldn't get you out of my mind. I mean, I felt bad about what I was doing to Ebony, but as time went on, I just, I just didn't know how to tell you about her because I knew it would hurt you. So yes, I lied, but my feelings for you and everything I said, that was real. How am I supposed to believe anything that comes out of your mouth? It's the truth, Stacy. I really wanted to see where things could have gone between us. Things couldn't have gone far. You had a girlfriend, but that didn't matter to you. <laughs> you know what? I'm not listening to any more of your lies. Stacy, wait. Stay the hell away from me and lose my number. How's your jaw feel? That looked like it hurt. Ebony, can we talk? You must be crazy. Your stuff will be burning on my front lawn by the time you get there. I gotta check on Stacy, so. I'll come with you. Stacy, slow down. Are you okay? Stacy, hold up! I'm really sorry. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. I should have listened to you. Can we go somewhere and talk? Look, Ebony, you can have him. I'm done. That punch deserves a drink. Let's go to the hotel bar. It's on me. You two go ahead. I'm gonna go back in the ballroom and see if someone got that punch on video. <laughs> Are you okay? Honestly, what do you care? Look, I know we have history, but I'm calling a truce. Are you okay? I, uh, I feel stupid and embarrassed and confused and hurt. A part of me is like, did that just happen? He, he seemed so genuine and sincere. I, I thought he wanted to get back together. I knew something was off with him the last few weeks. He was coming in late, wouldn't answer my calls or texts right away. He was keeping his phone locked. Wait, so you two lived together? We did, but he moved back to the LA area. Still has a few things at my house, though. 
Where do you live? Glendale. <laughs> he told me his mother lived in Glendale. His mother lives in Pasadena. That's what I thought. Are his parents divorced? Yep. They divorced right after he graduated college. Well, that's one thing he was honest about. I asked him when the last time he saw you was, and he said you two bumped into each other at No Vacancy a year ago. Girl, that was a date night. So when did you two reconnect? Reconnect? We never broke up from college. Uh, what? Are you serious? You two never broke up? Nope. We've been together all this time. I had no idea. Can I ask you something? Shoot. Why did you steal him from me in college? <laughs> Is that the story you believed all these years? It's the truth. Why? Because that was a word around campus? I mean, well, yeah. Drew came after me. I knew you two were together, so I told him to leave me alone. A couple months later, we were at a party and he told me you two broke up because he caught you messing around with Jordan Thompson. What? Jordan Thompson? I never slept with him. That's what he told me. I thought he was single when we started dating. I had no idea you two were together still. And I had no idea you two were still in a relationship. He was literally lying to me and using his mother as an excuse. <laughs> Punk ass bitch. Exactly. Couldn't even take a hit. <laughs> <laughs> All this time I'm thinking you stole him from me because you hated me. Hated you? I didn't even know you, but from what I heard, you were a nice girl. After me and Drew got together, I figured you hated me. So I just never bothered to talk to you. But you were spreading rumors about me around campus. Drew was spreading rumors about you. I may be difficult to get to know or get along with at times, but I would never tear another woman down, especially one I don't even know. All these years, uh, we could have been friends. I know, right? So what now between you two? Trust me, when I say Drew and I are done, we're done. And I hope you mean it when you say you're done too. I don't need that kind of drama in my life. I am good. I'm sorry, Stacey. You didn't deserve what Drew did to you. Either time. And I'm sorry too. For years we believed his version of events, which turned out to be a big lie. <laughs> they say everything happens for a reason. Maybe something good will come out of all this. Hmm. Guess we'll have to wait and see. One year later. Here we are, another Christmas, and so much has happened. First off, Ebony and Troy are in a very happy relationship. She probably won't admit it, but I bet it was the crushed velvet suit. Ebony and I became pretty close after everything went down with Drew. I'm glad we ended our imaginary feud, and I'm also glad she's with Troy. They're a perfect match. Mindy is still Mindy. And me? Well, I found love at Starbucks. Yep, the same Starbucks where I bumped into Drew. Turns out my boyfriend Wyatt and I have very similar Starbucks orders, except I'm his something sweet in the afternoons. Okay, my bad, TMI. You're probably wondering what happened to Drew. Well, Mindy told me he exceeded the bank's expectations as assistant manager, so they promoted him to branch manager and transferred him to a branch in San Bernardino. Good riddance. Ebony nor I had any interest in keeping up with him. Turns out that video of me punching Drew went viral. So many people started searching for who I was on social media. We even got a few dozen clients because of it and expanded our footprint nationally. We had to hire sales and customer service trainers and an admin staff because Troy and I couldn't keep up with the demand. Needless to say, our company is thriving. One year ago, I sat on Santa's lap and told him I wanted Drew for Christmas. And he turned out to be a disaster. But thanks to Drew, I got more than I could have ever asked for.